Hello children. Today we'll be doing more sums with the four digit divisor. Now let's take the first question. Divisor is 1, 1, 1, 1 and the dividend is 4, 2, 6, 5, 7, 9, 5. Now dividend divisor is a four digit. So let's see if the first four digits are divisible by this divisor. Yes. The first four digits are bigger than this divisor. So we can take the partial dividend as first four digits. So 1, 1, 1, 1 multiplied by 3 gives 3, 3, 3, 3. So 3. Now, this remainder should always be smaller than the divisor. In every step, the remainder will be smaller than the divisor. Now, we'll take down this digit with 8. Because with 9, we'll get 4 times 9. So, it will go with 8. 17 minus 8, 9. 11 minus 8, 3, 4. That's it. So, now we'll take down this 9. This will go with 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 6, 6, 0, 1. So, the next step, we'll be taking down this 5. And this will go with 9. 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 6, 15 minus 9, 6, 15 minus 9, 6. That's it. So, triple six is the remainder and this is the quotient. Divisor is this, dividend is this and we can even check it with the help of the equation I told you in my previous class. Now, let us divide 10 lakh by 3142. Now, divisor is of four digits. Let's see if the first four digits are divisible by this divisor. The first four digits are, they make 1000 and 1000 is smaller than 3142. So, we need to take the next digit in as partial dividend in our, uh, as partial dividend for the, in the first step. So, 3, 1, 4, 2, multiply by 3, 6, 2, 1, 4, and 9. So, last uh, digit of the divisor, I'm writing the question. 9, 4, 2, 6. 4, 9 minus 2, 7, 9 minus 4, 5. So, the 0 will come down and this will go with 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 13 minus 4 gives 9, 6 minus 1 gives 5 and 2. So, we we'll take down this 0 with 8. Yes, two five one three six seven minus three gives four nine minus one gives eight. So remainder is smaller than the divisor and it should be. This is our quotient and this is our remainder. Now let us do an other sum. Question number three. Divide seven eight one six two by one thousand and check your answer and check. Now, in this case, the divisor has got one and zeros, it is thousand seven eight one six two. Let's see. Seems very easy. Four digits. Yes, first four digits. They make the first partial dividend. Sevens are 7,000. 
Eight one six is the remainder in the first step. I am take down this two. Eights are eight thousand. So this is our remainder. This is our quotient. This is the divisor, and this is the dividend. So to check or verify, we need to put the digits in the following equation. Divisor into quotient plus remainder. So divisor is thousand. Quotient is seventy eight, and remainder is one sixty two. We will be first solving this. We can even put it in bracket. Now we know seventy eight multiplied by thousand. We only have to put the zeros at the back. Plus one sixty two. It gives us seven eight one six. Two, hence verified. Hence correct or verified. But this sum we could have done it orally also. How? Division with ten, hundred, and thousand, or one and zeros, can be done orally without actually solving. Let's assume any question. Nine eighty six divided by ten. How many zeros are there in the divisor? One zero. So the last number will be the remainder, and the remaining digits will become the quotient. So ninety eight is the quotient, and remainder is six. Let's take another example. Divided by hundred. Hundred has got how many zeros? Two. So the last two digits will be the remainder, and the digits that are left will become the quotient. Let's take another example. Divided by thousand. Even in this question, we had divided by thousand. So did we get the last three digits as the remainder? Yes, the last three digits two six one one six two is the remainder, and rest of the digits, the first two digits are the quotient. Here also same thing. So last three digits will become the remainder, and the remaining digits three eighty one will become the quotient. Four zeros. So last four digits will be the remainder, and quotient will be ninety six. That's it for today.